Fish come in amazing colors and patterns. Really, you can find just about everything you can imagine. Three or four things you might not have considered, and some that maybe you don't even want to think about. Now, sometimes we can figure out why a fish has a certain color. For instance, when a fish is colored like a piece of coral, algae, or rock, it's probably for camouflage. But how do we explain fish that are all dressed up and ready to party? When there are so many eager eaters in the ocean, why would some fish actually advertise that they're in the neighborhood? Scientists have some ideas, but once in a while, even they are puzzled. Take this lionfish. Its bright bars and big lacy white fins tell an inquisitive visitor, hi, pleased to meet you. But don't mess with me or you'll get stuck by one of my venomous spines. Some fish chat with each other using colors and patterns. For instance, how do you suppose fish in school see each other when the water is cloudy? This gray angelfish signals its buddies by flashing the bright yellow blotch on the other side of its pectoral fin. It's sort of like having a built-in flashlight. This pair of male and female butterfly fish may be able to stay close together because their stripes look just right. If even one line was out of place, they wouldn't recognize each other and would drift apart. Sometimes even a bold pattern helps a fish hide. Like a zebra in tall grass, this clownfish nestles in the tentacles of its anemone host. The bright bar on its head is the same color as the tentacles and probably makes the outline of the fish harder to spot. Yipes, stripes. That's what a predator might think when it encounters a school of these salima. This swirling mass of black and white might be enough to confuse even the most hungry hunter. Some fish just can't be bright enough. But why are they showing off? Well, this rock beauty thinks it controls this bit of the reef and wants everyone to know it. How about a game of now you don't see it and then you do? This is a game every barracuda can play. This barracuda is just cruising about thinking fishy thoughts. It has only a few marks on its side. On the other hand, these barracuda may have eating on their minds. Fish that are actively searching for food often change their colors and patterns from drab ones to bright ones. But that's not the only time. Color change seems to be stress related. So anything out of the ordinary can cause fish to change their look. Here's a riddle. When is a red fish not red? This soldier fish seems red under these artificial lights, but here in deep water where there is no red light, it looks drab and gray. That's why many deep water fish are colored red. It may look bright to us, but really it's a way of avoiding detection. And speaking of red, what is it with these red lips? Do batfish eat lipstick shrimp, finger paint crabs, or crayon clams? Actually, no one really knows the reason for this cutie's daring look, but maybe it scares off other fish. Then there are the fish that are just so weird looking that it seems they may have been painted by Picasso after he drank one too many cups of cocoa. Now, if you're like most of us, you may throw up your hands and say, I don't know what all these dots, spots, and blots are for. But remember, sometimes it's fun just to look at a painting and enjoy the view, even if we don't know why it was painted.